Hey everybody, Bill here. Um, this is going to be posted on all my channels, on uh, Technology Reviewer channel, on the Drone Reviewer channel, on my Bill's Adventure in Life channel, and on my Pen Stand channel. Um, what I'm going to, what you're going to see is all our preparation for Hurricane Irma. Uh, this is something that everybody down here is taking seriously. Uh, this is the first time since I moved down to Florida in 2011 that we've had something that's going to directly impact us. Um, you'll see what our preparations are. Um, you'll see, um, you know, how what we need to do. And, and one of the things I want to let everybody know, first of all, is you know there's been a lot of talk about people evacuating. And I want to make sure one thing here before we get into the video, just to let people know, evacuations are basically for people who are in areas who are prone to flooding, to storm surges. Um, as of 12:30, the uh, um, National Weather Service just released a bulletin that the storm surge for Tampa. Bay Area is going to be eight feet. So people in low-lying areas need to evacuate. Homes have been built different here. And you're going to see some pictures in the video how our home's built. Um, it's built with concrete block, and it's three and four with three bar. Um, they learned their lesson after Hurricane Andrew um, that there's no more frame houses down here. The only frame houses are the ones built prior to 1992. Anything built afterwards is concrete block, three and four with three bar. So I'm going to show you some pictures, show you some prep. Um, show you what, what we're doing here. Um, we just asked the one thing that I ask for all my viewers is to remember us in your thoughts and prayers and all of us here in the path of Hurricane Army because this is a beast. We're expecting 100 mile an hour winds um, probably sometime early Monday morning. So um, again, that's going to be a time that we're just going to get into our interior hallway and hunker down and be ready to go here. So. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, um, we we are all prepared as far as we are as far as possible for the hurricane here. Um, just we'll, I'm going to be showing you some different clips of things that, that I have done around the house and my wife and I have done around the house. Um, we're going to be taking my in-laws in because um, they live in a lower lying area um, and they also live in basically it's a double wide mobile home. So you know anybody that's in a mobile home has been ordered to evacuate. Uh, my stepdaughter and her friend are going to be coming over as well. So we're, besides that we're going to have four dogs in the house. So it's, we're going to have a house full. So without further ado, here's a video. We sandbagged the sliding glass doors. My wife came up with an ingenious plan here. Going to roll the tarp over this to hopefully prevent any water from coming into the house. Okay, we also pulled in all our uh, our hose and reel, um, all our lawn furniture. There's our two chairs and a couch, um, and behind that are more chairs. And then we also have the steps to our hot tub. Um, pulled everything in. Hey, wanted to take you outside and show you what hurricane shutters look like, especially for my friends up north. Now, the reason that we have hurricane shutters down here in Florida, the zone that we live in is not a flood zone, but it is a high wind zone, and that's what this is designed to do. Now, I'm going to walk up to it and see if this will work here. These things are very taut. I mean, they there's not a lot of give to these, so it's going to be... It's, it's meant for, to prevent debris from coming in and breaking your windows. Okay, yesterday, part, is, uh, part of preparing for the hurricane, um, I ordered a Baofeng UV5 V2 Plus ham radio. Um, it's just a very basic ham radio, but I ordered it with a 38 milli, milliamp battery. Um, I'm going to be programming it this afternoon to load some channels in. One of my friends from work is a ham radio um, a licensed ham radio operator uh, sent me a list of different frequencies and repeaters in the area. Um, this will be critical in case cell phone goes down, cell phone coverage goes down. I'll still have communication. I'll also be able to program NOAA weather radio in there as well. So, and the 38 milli, milliamp, 3800 milliamp battery is really going to be beneficial um, for us. I've been told it lasts a long, long time. Plus, I have the the battery that came with it as well. So. Okay, as far as um, getting ready um, technology-wise, um, I have my spare tablet being charged up. I have two spare battery packs. I have an Anchor battery pack, and I also have a battery pack that I received when I got my phone last year that got those 
on charge and also when I'm not using the phone it's charging as well. Um, also charging up and backing up my laptop at this time right now. Um, backing that up, I'm using Backup and Sync. It's a Google device or Google product. Um, if you're interested, please look it up. Um, that is an excellent way of being able to back it up in the cloud. I fully trust Google. They make they have some great software products out there. That's something I would highly encourage. Okay. Um, also, was able to get got some Rubbermaid containers. Also purchased some nylon rope and some bungee cords. Um, we do have some tarps already that we do use for the dogs, but in case of an evacuation order, what we're going to do is uh, put valuables inside plastic garbage bags, seal them in the lids, get them into the bed of my Tacoma, and then cover everything with a tarp and secure it with a bungee cord. Okay, wanted to show you, we have, well, I was able to go out to our local Publix and get water. Both Valerie and I were allowed each four gallons, so we got eight gallons of water this morning. See, we also have some ginger ale, also have behind that some sparkling water. Uh, did manage to secure a lot of soups. They were restocked with soups today, so got a number of those. Uh, we also have some ready-to-eat um, Hormel meals as well, um, and got some deviled ham. So uh, we're pretty good as far as provisions are concerned. Also got two 10-pound bags of ice. We also... Uh, Per, we're able to purchase a couple of styrofoam coolers at Publix today. So if the refrigerator does go out, we're going to move some of the perishables that we are eating into that. Okay, I uh, was able to secure some paper products. Got uh, at least 85. We have probably about 100 paper plates. Uh, got about 70 some Dixie bowls. Um, have two sets of silverware up there. And also we have some cups. So we're good as far as uh, paper products and cups are concerned. Also, as a side note, um, with all the prep that we've done, um, I went ahead today, um, and you can see behind me right now, it's about 12.30 here on Saturday the, the 9th, um, it's already, the wind's already picked up here considerably. Um, I took my Mavic Pro up uh, to take some pictures of the roof and a video of the roof just to make sure after the storm I'll be able to go up and take a look at that again just so we can take a look at this. Um, you know, if you like this video, um, that would be great, but this, this isn't why I'm doing this today. I just want to give everybody a heads up on what's going on. Um, if you follow me on Facebook, I will be posting updates on there regularly, on my regular Facebook page, and I'll try to get to my Drone Reviewer channel, Bill's Adventure and Life channel, uh, Bill Technology Reviewer channel as well, just to make sure that these are all posted and updated. So, um, again, if you can remember uh, all of us in your thoughts and prayers, um, you know, we would really appreciate that down in here. Florida strong.